Hello everyone. Today I'd like to dive deeper into the topic of IMC, the Intermetallic Compounds Part 3. Please note that this presentation is a personal sharing, and the content might not be entirely accurate. For more information, you can visit the website mpe.researchmfg.com. Let's begin by understanding alloys. An alloy is a fusion of different metallic elements. Alloys can be categorized as solid solutions, also known as homogeneous, or intermetallic compounds, also referred to as heterogeneous. Homogeneous alloys, commonly known as solid solutions, are further classified as substitutional alloys or interstitial alloys. In a substitutional alloy, when molten metal blends with another substance, atom exchange and the interstitial mechanism can lead to alloy formation. The size of each element influences the mechanism. When atoms are similar in size, typically differing by no more than 8%, atom exchange occurs and metallic crystal atoms are substituted with those of the other element, creating a substitutional alloy. For example, bronze and brass are substitutional alloys, where copper atoms are replaced by tin or zinc atoms. In the interstitial mechanism, one atom is significantly smaller and doesn't substitute for the other type in the crystal matrix. Instead, smaller atoms occupy spaces between matrix atoms, forming an interstitial alloy. Steel is a prime example where small carbon atoms fill interstices in the iron matrix, influencing hardness and brittleness. Now, moving to heterogeneous alloys. When molten mixtures of metals solidify, the alloy can develop a unique lattice type distinct from pure metals. This outcome is known as intermetallic compounds, or IMC. IMC differs from solid solutions due to distinct crystal structures resulting from chemical reactions. IMC's crystal structure is wholly different from that of metals. Eutectic systems are homogeneous mixtures that solidify or melt at a single temperature lower than any constituent's melting point. This temperature is the eutectic temperature. It's the lowest temperature at which all components melt simultaneously. In cooling, non-eutectic mixtures solidify component by component until all material is solid. A classic instance is the lead tin binary eutectic phase diagram. If you're intrigued by this subject, you can explore more information by searching online. Here's the third video, Introducing IMC. In our next session, we'll present concepts for recognizing and understanding IMC health.
For further information, visit mpe.researchmfg.com. Thank you, and until next time. Goodbye.